Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about the situation in Ukraine and, and Crimea, and we need to stand by Ukraine on this. Ukraine is the victim, and Russia is the aggressor. Let me explain. Yes, Crimea is mostly ethnic Russian, but 90% of Crimea's population does not want Crimea to belong to Russia, okay? As soon as Russia entered Crimea, they started jailing and detaining the indigenous people of Crimea that were in Crimea long before um, Ukraine or Russia was in Crimea. They're called the Crimea Tatars, and they make up about 12% of Crimea's population. And the Crimea Tatars do not approve of Russia's government in Crimea, and no matter they keep protesting against Russia or trying to protest. And Russia has now started to jail them, they started to detain them, and they've started to beat them. The human rights situation in Crimea in Crimea is that bad. And they're jailing Crimean Tatars who are protesting peacefully. And or the Crimean Tatars just state their opinion that they wish Crimea would go back to Ukraine, but Russia is not allowing that freedom of speech. They're throwing them in jail. Or they're temporarily detaining them, and when they temporarily detain these people, they beat them. And that's what the Crimean Tatars are trying to tell people. And also, okay, right now it is not just Crimea. There are other areas in eastern Ukraine that are being shelled by pro-Russian rebels, but it's not just pro-Russian rebels. There are Russian soldiers within the pro-Russian rebel ranks, and one position just yesterday, one position in eastern Ukraine has been shelled 72 times. 72. But Ukraine's pushing the pro-Russia rebels back and they're fighting very well. And Ukraine is its own sovereign territory. That is what is going on in Ukraine and that's why we need to stand by them. And also, the there was recently a major power outage in Kiev, Ukraine, Ukraine's capital. And there was the power outage was linked to a cyber attack. And more than likely, it was Russia and their cyber attack division or their cyber division and Kiev is nowhere near Crimea okay Kiev is not a disputed territory that that shows that Russia just wants to annex all of Ukraine they want to annex all of Ukraine, they want to show their old Soviet muscle and their old Soviet dominance. Most of Ukraine wants to stay Ukraine. Even in Crimea, all pro-Ukrainian sentiment is jailed. The McDonald's in Crimea was has been closed. The Russian government forced the McDonald's to close, and they also forced the people in Crimea to get Russian passports, whether if they wanted the Russian passports or not. Any pro-Ukrainian sentiment is stamped out pretty quickly over there. And best example is Vice News reporter Simon Ostrovsky. He was kidnapped by pro-Russia rebels in Crimea, and he was kidnapped for three days, and he caused it the worst three days of his life. And he was uh, pushed down a flight of stairs, kicked in the ribs, punched in the face, you name it. And Vice News has done a good job going into Ukraine and reporting the situation and when Vice News went there, they tried to get some pro-Ukrainian, to interview some pro-Ukrainian people. But usually the pro-Ukrainian people that they interviewed were very discreet about things. They were Sometimes they had their faces blacked out. Sometimes they had their um, faces electronically scrambled. And this one guy who was pro-Ukrainian was pretty public and open about it. And when he stated his opinions, he was visited by um, supposedly a regular civilian that was pro-Russia, but it was actually a Russian journalist. So it is nowhere near 90% of the population of Crimea wants to be wants Crimea to be part of Russia. It's not in the 90 percentile range. So hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye. God bye. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. We're with you, Ukraine. God bless Ukraine.